This multimedia presentation intends to examine and contest my argument that high level of cultural intelligence will result to self-efficacy in interacting with people in a different cultural context. I shall discuss cultural intelligence and how cultural self-awareness becomes essential to it. More so, examples will be mentioned to show how it applies may it be in the workplace or university. Foremost, Kwape and Cantator 2005 emphasize that cultural awareness is the building block of communication, and it involves awareness of our own cultural values, beliefs, and perceptions. Petrovic 2001 and Crown 2008 discuss that the level of how culturally self-aware we are determines how well we can distinguish our own culture from others. Thus, cultural self-awareness is the foundation of cultural intelligence. Thomas and Inkson 2003 of McNabb and Worsley's 2012 article presented a model of cultural intelligence. It is composed of knowledge, mindfulness, and behavior. Primarily, the authors mention that the individual must have knowledge about the culture and must be mindful of the nature of that culture. Just as Tabitha 2005 and Cheng 2007 state that it is vital to suspend judgment. They also emphasize that to be culturally intelligent, he or she must learn to adapt and adjust or modify his or her behavior to function in the situation characterized by cultural differences. For instance, joining a group of friends in the university who talk aggressively. If you jump immediately to a conclusion, you will say that those people are disrespectful, unkind, or ill-mannered. But because you are culturally intelligent, Brislin and others 2012 state that you are able to open your mind to new knowledge about the reasons behind that behavior. Another example is when a new employee from overseas explores the company's values, beliefs, and policies along with how people behave rather than assuming something straight away. As a conclusion, undoubtedly, cultural intelligence appropriately shapes the individual's behavior in a culture apart from his or her own. Therefore, we must think before judging, respect differences before stereotyping, and more so, be culturally self-aware to understand the differences of others.